Well, non-citizens who are allowed to work under federal law and those who have a work permit under the DACA program are now able to become police officers here in Illinois thanks to a bill signed by Governor Pritzker. The Fraternal Order of Police is against the new law, saying people who do not have legal status should not become enforcers of the law. So here to explain a little bit more about how this would work is Erendira Rendon. She's with the Resurrection Project in the Chicago area. Hello to you. Thank you for coming back. Thanks for having me. Okay, this is interesting because it did sort of create a great deal of controversy from folks who were saying, how could somebody who is a non-citizen uh, be allowed to sort of arrest individuals? Yeah, well, I think the controversy came out of nowhere, we um, actually in the House of mm -hmm. Representatives, this bill passed unanimously, and so that means that both uh, Democrats and Republicans voted in favor of this bill. And basically, the only thing is saying is that if you are legally authorized to work in the U.S., um, you should be able to uh, become a police officer if that's what you choose. We've had similar laws passed in the um, in it previously, for instance, for folks to be able to become licensed attorneys or nurses, folks that are you know legally in the country, maybe like me have DACA, which is protection from deportation for Dreamers, um, and have work permits. And so uh, the controversy was really stirred up because of um, some very far uh, right leaning politicians, but. Overall, there's wide support, mm -hmm. including the Chicago FOP. Yeah, and I think you, you mean you touched on some of this is that a lot of people don't realize that these are things that have been used in the past, um, meaning people who have a work permit but may not necessarily be a citizen. This is nothing new. This has been done in other industries before. Yeah, so it's been done in other industries, and other states have done this particular mm -hmm. um, legislation. So California, Colorado, Hawaii, for instance, all allow um, immigrants who are legally authorized to work in the U.S. to also pursue be go going into law enforcement. Mm -hmm. um, but Illinois has had to do it in the past with things like becoming doctors, things like becoming lawyers, um, so that if you are legally authorized mm -hmm. to work, which by definition also means you do have to go through a criminal background check, um, that this is another opportunity that is available to you. Okay, and the governor basically saying he signed this bill into law for what purpose? Did he see, so, I mean, we've been talking about the lack of police officers out in many communities throughout Illinois and really the country, and so opening this line of opportunity for folks would address that issue, right, and address the issue of having jobs for so many um, of uh, yeah. our immigrants here in Chicago. Yeah, there's definitely a workforce shortage um, we're, we're seeing across every sector, right? Also, you know, there's um, there's communities that are primarily made up of immigrants. Um, and so why not mm -hmm. have, you know, uh, recruit from folks that are also immigrants themselves? Okay, so meaning that they can relate to the people in their communities exactly. a little bit better than somebody who has not been through that experience. Exactly, yeah, they know the experience of being an immigrant. They know the fear of, that you might have in talking to a police officer mm -hmm. um, because they lived it themselves and they've seen their family go through it as well. Okay, uh, early on there was a bit of controversy. Do you feel like that has been settled now and we can move on to sort of the next stage of this law? Yeah, I think it's been settled. I think that there's some federal issues that we need to, you know, look that the state has to look at as well within this bill. Um, and it's very few folks that have stirred up the controversy, mm -hmm. but overall there's been widespread support. Um, you brought up the federal government, um, and early on when we just came on set, you said it may not accomplish as much as um, the yeah. governor was hoping it would accomplish here in Illinois because of federal laws. Explain that. Yeah, there's still outstanding issues. Um, folks with DACA, Dreamers with DACA still cannot um, mm -hmm. really carry a gun or own a gun. Um, so there still has to be some sort of understanding about maybe this is only while they're working, um, but definitely they need to have authorization from the federal government to allow uh, for that to happen. Okay, moving on to other topics, you know, obviously we've been addressing the migrant situation here in the Chicago area, meaning by migrants bust in from Texas, for example, and some of the issues that they're facing right now, trying to find shelter and housing. Where are we with a lot of those individuals? Are we in a little bit of a better place? than we were say a month or two months ago when it comes to finding mm -hmm. shelter for many of them? Yeah, so as you may know, the city did open up a new shelter um, in our armory. It will continue to have to open up new shelters. And while it does that, also um, you know, making sure that they're tapping into maybe rental assistance programs. And at this point now, there are several hundred folks that are moving into apartments um, every month. 
um, so that we're also so that the city is also able to free up shelter space mm -hmm. as new folks arrive. They the city does have about one bus arriving every single day, um, and that's 50 people right every single day that need shelter, that need assistance, um, you know, need clothing and, and food. Yeah. Okay. We'll continue to uh, monitor the situation that's uh, going on with many of the migrants that are arriving here in the Chicago area. Erendira, we appreciate your time. Thank you. All right.